Ask my brain to remember that I love these steak tips at Texas Roadhouse. I will remember that you said, I love the steak tips at Texas Roadhouse. Bixby has admittedly been absolute trash on Samsung smartwatches since forever. But finally, with the Galaxy Watch 4, we get a fully functional and incredibly powerful tool, and I'm going to prove it in this video. This is why Bixby on the Galaxy Watch 4 is amazing. And as always, I'll have video time codes down in the description so you guys can quickly find the features you care most about. And if you appreciate video time codes, let me know by dropping a like down below. In case you're wondering, all the features I'm going to show you in this video also work when connected to a non-Samsung Android device with one exception, but I'll show you a workaround for that in the capsule section of this video, which is time coded down below. While I'll be activating Bixby with the home button throughout this video, you could also just use the wake up command, hi Bixby. If that's not enabled on your Galaxy Watch, just hold the home button and say, enable voice wake up. Voice wake up is now on. But since I'm going to be saying Bixby a lot during this video, I recommend turning it back off so it doesn't keep activating while you watch the video. To turn it off, just hold the home button again and say, turn off voice wake up. I turned off voice wake up. And one last thing, I'm going to cut out some of the wait times between when I say something and when Bixby actually responds just to speed up the video a bit. So just keep in mind that while it may seem like it in this video, Bixby does not give instantaneous responses. Most responses will take just about as long as the one you just saw. Now let's take a deep dive, starting with some of the more useful settings you can change with Bixby. Obviously I have this giant glove on right now, and I won't be able to interact with the screen because the glove is so thick. That's not a problem though because I can just hold the home button and say, turn on touch sensitivity. And just like that, I can now use these thick gloves with the screen. Changing a baby's diaper and they keep touching your watch and replying to emails, texts, and making calls? Not a problem. Just hold down the home button and say, turn on water lock. Now, no matter how much they touch the screen, they won't be able to interact with anything. Then when you're done changing the diaper, just hold the home button for a few seconds and water lock will turn off. You could also ask Bixby to do things like turn on bedtime mode for sleep tracking, turn your watch into a flashlight, make your phone start ringing by saying find my phone, and so much more. Basically, if there's a setting you want to change or enable, just try asking Bixby and chances are it'll work. If you want to quickly make reservations at a restaurant, just say, book a table for two at an Italian restaurant for tomorrow night at 6 p.m. in Boston. That's going to bring up a list of a bunch of Italian restaurants in Boston that I can scroll through and select from. And if I select a restaurant that doesn't have an opening at that time, that time is not available. How about Sunday at 5 p.m.? Bixby will suggest a different time that is available. Then I can just scroll down and change my party size, change the date, change the time, and if I scroll down further, you'll see all of my personal contact information, so I'm not going to scroll further down. But if I tap time, Bixby will show me all the available times to make the reservation for. 5 p.m. is close enough, so I'm going to tap that. I need to confirm your reservation. Now, I could have replied to Bixby and said confirm, or swiped it away and just tapped the word confirm. And as soon as that's tapped, the reservation would be made for tomorrow night. And in case you're wondering, if you're on a road trip and you don't know the name of the town you're currently in, you can just say nearby instead of a specific town, and it'll give you results based on your current location. Bixby also lets you set up detailed calendar appointments. So for example, I could just say, create an event called family trip on Wednesday at 10 a.m. at the Boston Aquarium. So that one command adds a title to the event, has the time and the date for the event, as well as the location. Bixby is also aware of your existing calendar events. So if I try to make another event in that same time, it'll tell me. Create an event for lunch with Kyle on Wednesday at 10 a.m. at the Olive Garden in Boston. There's an event called Family Trip scheduled for them. Save this event. And since there's a collision, it does give me the option to change the time by tapping it. When is this event? Thursday at 5 p.m. And since there were no collisions on a Thursday at 5 p.m., it'll let me save the event. Bixby has full access to SmartThings, which means you can control anything connected to SmartThings. So I could say something like, office studio lights on. Got it. Turning on all two lights in the office. And I can just turn them back off by saying, office studio lights off. And SmartThings is way more powerful than just turning on or off lights. If you've got a robot vacuum, you could tell it to start cleaning. Got a smart dishwasher? Tell it to start or stop. You can even change the TV channel and volume if you have a Samsung TV. 
SmartThings even lets you set up something called a scene, which lets you issue a bunch of different commands by saying just one single command. And if you set up one of those scenes on your phone, you can access it from Bixby on your watch. An example of a powerful scene would be something called Goodnight that would turn off all your lights, change your thermostat settings, turn off the coffee maker, lock your doors, and anything else you'd like it to do, as long as the devices are connected to your SmartThings account. Bixby can also answer the obvious simple weather questions like what's the hourly forecast, when is sunrise or sunset, etc. But you can also ask more advanced questions like what's the air quality in New York? And this gives you a ton of information if you scroll down. So if I go down, you can see ozone, particles, PM2.5, particles, PM10, sulfur dioxide, and even carbon monoxide. If it's in the middle of winter and you're worried about your pipes freezing if it gets too cold, you can even ask questions like Will it drop below zero degrees tonight in Boston? No, it isn't colder than zero degrees Fahrenheit tonight in Boston, Massachusetts. You can even change weather settings by saying things like, save Celsius as my preferred unit. I have saved metric as your preferred system. I showed the most powerful Samsung health feature you could activate with Bixby in my first 10 things to do with the Galaxy Watch 4 video, so I won't rehash that here. If you want to see that, you can check that out by clicking the video card that's sliding out above and watching the very beginning of that video. Some things I didn't discuss is that you could use Bixby to start a breathing exercise just by saying, start breathing. You could also start stress and heart rate measurements. And in case you're wondering, two things you can't do at the time of making this video are start body composition measurements or an ECG. Maybe those options will come in a future update, but as of today, you'll have to start those manually. Bixby is also great for doing some quick math or conversions. Trying to figure out a tip? What's 20% of 32? It's 6.4. Doing some cooking and forgot how to make some conversions? How many teaspoons in a tablespoon? That's approximately 3 US teaspoons. And you can even do some advanced math like, what is cosine of 36? The answer is about 0 0.809017. After all that, I'm still just scratching the surface with all the things you can do with Bixby on the Galaxy Watch 4. There's tons of simple things you can do, like creating, changing, or marking reminders as complete, sending messages and having Bixby read back your most recent messages, calling people, asking Bixby what song is playing on nearby speakers, playing specific playlists on Spotify, setting and changing alarms and timers. You can even set alarms for specific periods of times, like set an alarm for 7 a.m. on Monday through Friday. And then I can change that alarm's time and days. Change my 7 a.m. alarm to 7.30 and set it for Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Alarm edited. At this point in the video, you're probably still wondering what on earth I was doing at the beginning of the video, asking my brain to remember things. This is where we discuss Bixby capsules. These are plugins for Bixby that make it even more powerful. To get these, you have to open up the Bixby app on your phone. If you own a Samsung device, you'll have a dedicated Bixby application pre-installed. Just go ahead and open up that application and tap on the Marketplace for All Capsules option. From here, you can either scroll through all the available capsules or you can scroll across the top and sort them by category. If you want to know if the capsules will work with your Galaxy Watch 4, you just have to look for the little watch icon that's next to the capsules. So these three will work with the Galaxy Watch, but this one right here won't because there's no watch symbol. And as you can imagine, here is where one of the limitations come in when using a Galaxy Watch with a non-Samsung Android device. At the time of making this video, there's simply no capsule marketplace on any non-Samsung Android device. Fortunately, I did find a super easy workaround. And that workaround has to do with just using Bixby on your Galaxy Watch that's connected to the non-Samsung Android device. As long as you know what the name of the capsule is, in this case, there's a capsule here called Air Quality Alert. All you have to do is go on your Galaxy Watch, open up Bixby, and say, ask Air Quality Alert what the air quality is. Adding Air Quality Alert. Do you agree to provide location data to Air Quality Alert to process requests? And just like that, I've added the capsule to my Galaxy Watch 4 that's only connected to my Pixel device. And the command didn't have to be exactly what I just said. It just has to start with the word ask, followed by the name of the capsule. The hard part now just becomes finding the names of the capsules that you want to install. And that's a bit more difficult because you're gonna to need to find a friend with a Samsung device to show you all the names of the capsules. And while I can't just go through all of these different capsules for you, because as you can see, there are a ton, I did look through every single one of these and did find my favorite that I'd like to share with you. 
and that capsule is called My Brain. And what this does is remember basically anything you ask it to. So at the beginning of this video, I asked it to remember that I loved the steak tips at Texas Roadhouse. But if it had been weeks, months, years, and I'd forgotten what it was that I'd loved at Texas Roadhouse, I could just ask it like this. Ask my brain what I loved at the Texas Roadhouse. You told me 27 minutes ago. I loved the steak tips at Texas Roadhouse. And just like that, I'll know what to order. And this obviously doesn't stop here either. You can ask it to remember really specific things like, ask my brain to remember that I parked on the third floor next to a blue column with C9 written on it. Then when I'm headed back to my car, I just ask, ask my brain, where did I park? You told me a minute ago, I parked on the third floor next to a blue column with C9 written on it. Now obviously, it wouldn't be a good thing if it always remembered every single place you parked because then it would just bring back a list of all the different places and you'd have to go through it to find the right one. So you can also delete specific memories. All you have to do is recall a specific memory and then while it's on your screen, ask it to be deleted. Ask my brain, where did I park? So here's the memory that I brought back up, and while it's on the screen, I just say, ask my brain to delete this memory. Are you sure you want to delete what was shown? Yes. I deleted one memory. And if you have a Samsung phone or tablet and want to delete these memories quickly, all you have to do is bring up the memories on your phone or tablet by using Bixby and saying, ask my brain to show my memories. From here, I can delete all memories, tap a specific memory and delete just that memory, or even edit a memory. Now all these functions are also available on the watch, it's just a lot faster to make these modifications on a phone or a tablet. Now it's up to you to dig through the capsules to find even more features that are specific to your needs. And let me know down in the comments below if I've changed your mind about Bixby. If you found this video helpful and want to help me out, go ahead and drop a like down below to help me beat the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss even more Galaxy Watch 4 coverage, as well as some deep dives into the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Z Flip 3. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys and I'll catch you in the next one.